Good morning, friends. It's Jima and Papa. Today we are going to show you how to empty and refill the wasp traps that we've been using. First of all, I'm unscrewing the bottom cap to the wasp trap. This is the cap that's got the little white piece of cotton ball, cotton ball in it that I use to fill up with sugar water. Okay. I will dump that out. Clean off the dead bugs. Next. I will undo How does it come apart? It comes apart by these two things, these two flanges. dead wasps. Then I will replace. So that just snaps in. Yes. Quick and easy. See how it snapped in to the place right here. Okay. First I take off the bottom cap. not to lose a cotton ball. We haven't had as many wasps, wasps since we took down our hummingbird feeders. Thank goodness. But as you can see, these traps work really well. That's a lot of dead wasps. Now I'm putting this back together. Okay. Now, okay, I will now put nectar, which is actually just sugar water, back in the traps. This is one part sugar, three parts water. It's the same ne uh, nectar that we used in the hummingbird feeders. So you soak the cotton ball. Now what are you doing? Now I'm screwing the bottom cap back onto the trap. Okay. You just screw it in? Yes, just like that. Okay. An interesting thing. The way this works, the bees go in through there once the cap is back on and they go up the 
cone and there's a hole in the top of the cone. Once they go out of the hole, they have a hard time finding their way back to the hole to escape. So they end up just wasting away. Okay. this one. You're just making sure that cotton swab is soaked? Soaked, yes. Okay. Putting the cap back on the bottom. Well, that looks pretty simple, Papa. Thank you for sharing. You're Thank you for welcome. showing us. With that, you guys have a great day. Papa and I will talk to you later. God bless. Stay safe. God bless. Stay safe. And we'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.